Guy and always by your side With his circuits and his sensors He's your perfect guide Helping blind folks navigate Giving them his all But sometimes he gets a little clumsy And causes them to fall Steve, Steve, the robo guy Leading the blind But sometimes with a bump and slide He's got a heart of gold Always ready to lend a hand Even if it needs a few accidental He'll understand He's programmed to be precise Guiding with precision But sometimes he misreads And leads folks into collision With a beep and a boop He'll apologize and make it right Steve, Steve, the robo guy Always ready for a new sign Actually, since we're a little ahead of schedule here, there we go. I'm Alyssa. When I'm not busy dropping useless knowledge on my students, I'm watching Liam's live streams.
Yes, hello, and welcome to Chatting with Viewers for March 31st, 2024. From a mile above sea level, well, you know how this goes. So I hope you are all doing well. As always, I am excited and happy to be here. Um, trying to get signed into Suno. Uh, as I made a song, I generated a song that I wanted it to uh, do, and it's not. It is not letting me sign in now. Come on, dude. So I'll, I'll come back to it in a minute. Um, hope you guys like the opening music. Um, people are commenting on the Bop It song. Uh, hey, Matt, how's it going? Long time no see. Uh, Nightbot's here. Sightless Stories is here. Um, I, I don't like how catchy this song is. As a musician, I'm really worried about AI creating music. I No, I think it's great. I think it's awesome. I love that it's catchy. Um, I totally should play Super Egg Hunt. No, yeah, you, there won't be any magic unlock super, for Super Egg Hunt Plus. Sorry. Um, no, I love, I love some of the uh, catchy AI stuff that we've come up with. Uh, here's the the Bop It rap. There's two of them actually. I like them both. This one kind of wins out though. Um. Whoa! Wasn't supposed to do that. Can you handle it? Or will you flop it? Fast paced action, reaction time. Gonna test your skills, gotta stay in line. Bop it, twist it, pull it, shout it. Ooh, yeah. Bop it, twist it, pull it, shout it. Come on now. Bop it, twist it, pull it, shout it. Everybody. Oh, yeah, now I can't get Let's into Suno. I got it. I don't know how. I am Let's awesome. Go. All right, here we go. Sign in with Google. There it goes. So I made a song. Um, <laughs> I asked it to make me a song um, about Eddie the Easter Bunny being run over by a bus. Uh, hello, Big Blind Gamer. Alyssa says, good morning, everyone. By the way, Dreamy Train. Oh, I haven't forgotten. So I don't know when we're going to get to a marathon, Matt. Um, since you haven't been around for a while, uh, I don't know if you know, but I moved. Uh, I now live in a different part of the United States, and uh, I just have not had time for a marathon. But I can promise you, because of you asking, Dreamy Train is on my games list for the marathon when I can actually get to that. So um, things are a little crazy right now just because um, housing is kind of an issue at the moment. So I'm currently living in a one bedroom. Uh, I would like to move to a two bedroom for a panacea of reasons. Um, one of one of those w uh, said, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, so... <laughs> Um, I would like to move to a larger space so that, uh, you know, hopefully uh, one day, you know, Alyssa might be here and we'll have space. Um, a one bedroom is very small, so we don't really want to do that. Uh, I am now in Colorado, a mile above sea level. So, yes, here we go. Here is. Eddie the Easter Bunny. Eddie the Easter Bunny, oh so bright and cheery. Hopped along the street, spreading joy to everyone dearly. But one fateful day, as he hopped with such glee, a big old bus came along. You won't believe what he did see. Oh no, Eddie got run over by a bus. Oh, oh. <laughs> he was just spreading Easter love to all of us. But don't you oh. worry. 
Oh my god. Oh, did I just knock out the. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. catch up with messages yeah nothing new okay so matt you must have been uh, yeah because i think i talked about it over the summer but it's been a while uh chain says omg uh rolling up the floor laughing i figured you were going to cover that it went up by saying you wanted a game room yeah okay yeah i'll take a game room instead that sounds good um that's what i want i want a game room that's why i want a two-bedroom apartment um no other reason <laughs> Grandma and her reindeer are so last decade. That song is so very cheerful for someone getting hit by a bus. I'm just going to die. What was the prompt for that? Um, I believe I said write a song, of, write a happy kid song about Eddie the Easter Bunny getting run over by a bus. You should make that a metal song. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like that it's a happy song, though. Like, I like that it's cheery and upbeat. It's about a bunny getting run over. <laughs> oh, that's so messed up. Oh, um, my gosh. That's funny, though. I like the second one. I like both. Um, I can't decide. It's hard to choose. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Uh... So let, let's see. Um, poor Peter. Well, no, he's Eddie. He's Eddie the Easter Bunny. Do not change the song. They're both good. No metal. A nice, happy song about death. <laughs> yeah, Liam, that's messed up. I'm laughing, though, so I'm no better, says Alyssa. Uh, I was watching the episode, by the way, if you haven't watched it, it is a, a fun watch. Um, December 24th, 2023 of Chatting with Viewers. I was watching that. That's the one where Alyssa was here and we actually had Alyssa in studio and that was fun. Um, she startled herself with the yodeling pickle, which was hilarious. Still my favorite part of the whole thing is she's like, ah, um, so Yeah. Uh, I don't know this week what we really have. Sometimes, you know, these chatting with viewers are just very random. Um, so we did talk about last week. I talked about um, Jaws's OC, our, uh, picture, picture smart feature. And somebody asked if we could scan a video game using it. And I could not get my Xbox to boot for whatever. It, it just like. The capture card was not showing. I got the capture card to work. I'm hoping we can do another one on my next Colorado trip. Yeah, we can. Uh, we can at least do one because I know that, unfortunately, that second Sunday you're going back, but we could do one before uh, Memorial Day. Uh, piano remix. Peter Cottontail should stay away from the bus, says Cassie. Um the bright side of death, at least his replacement will take over and be more careful. I doubt it. He'll probably get splattered, too. So this morning, I'm drinking a Monster Pacific Punch, which is really good. 
Hello, Blind Games World. Um, I've been having too much fun playing with a newly working MAME emulation of a cool electro electronic guitar toy from 1990. Interesting. I need to um, update my MAME with the latest ROMs and stuff. Did they face, fix wasteless watering or glue down furniture? I don't think so for either. I really don't use those. Um, we know Eddie is the an apprentice bunny anyway, and Peter Cottontail is the pro. Do you remember when you played Marina Break and when you almost fell asleep? That was um, last year. Wasn't that... Um, or was that end of 22? I think it was end of 22, right? Because that was, um, yeah, that was the Thermos of Doom. You're going to be charged up. Well, yeah, I am going to be charged up. I have an O&M lesson in two hours. I'll be going outside and walking around. Um, so no uh, no Easter break for me. I'm going to be doing O&M. We're going to work on a route that we've been trying to figure out for a while. Well, I mean, <laughs> my O&M instructor knows the route. Um, I kind of know the route for the most part. I still need some work done on it. Uh, November 2022, says Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. Yes, November 22 of 22. That was um, a lot of fun, actually. So I'm going to, just for funsies, I'm going to fire up the Xbox. And I want to see... Used. Section one of thirteen group yep. MLB Red Discovery. Section two of two group. Okay. Browse this door. So one of four. um, let me switch over to Jaws. Recently added Game Pass. Section three of thirteen group. And because we were talking about this last week, and the question was, could we, using the picture smart feature, have it describe? Dog. Friends Discord. Friends document. List document. Ops one. Stop it. Don't stop it. Two window stop. Ops three point one. Scenes, audio mixer, eight scenes, list box, so, control, see, sources, list box, game, video capture, device, game, four, so game, menu, filter, screenshot, window projector, leaving menus, window, window projector, projector, leaving menus. So let's start with doing the, um, maybe the main screen. Discovery, section, recently used, section one of 13 group, MLB registered the show, tra Forza Motors. So these are all Rock games Band, that Mortal I Kombat played. Mortal Kombat 11, button, Rock, MLB, re my games and apps, button. So my let's games just and go into my window. games and games apps, see what I've header. got. Sorted by AZ, looking for more. Group games? header. So my games and apps window. Section titles. Apps. Games. Five items. Button. Games window. MLB registered. The Mortal Kombat. Rock Band 4. I don't have a lot of games on here, Teenage as you can Ninja tell. Turtles, Shredder's Revenge. Oh, yeah, game I have pass, that. Optimized for filter. Button. I want to play that so, at some point. Games window. My games and apps. Game, games window. Filter. So button. let's just have Press it describe the screen. Picture smart. Picture smart. C. Picture smart is in progress. For control. Hopefully you guys are hearing that. Link more results. The image shows a row of video game cover art illustrations from a game's library or store. On the left is a racing game with a yellow sports car. Next. Okay. There's a sports game featuring a, there's a, sports game featuring a baseball player mid-swing. The third is a fighting game depicting two characters in combat. And on the far right, a figure with a guitar, likely from a music-related game. Each cover has an XS icon and game pass indicating platform compatibility or subscription service. Link more results. Results. Cool. So it describes our little um thing there. Sorry. So sort let's easy. pick a Combo. game. Filter. Group header. Sorted by looking for more. Group header. Sort Rock Band 4. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Rock, Rock Band 4. 4 or 5. Oh, Press no. Menu button I, I want to be careful with that one. Teenage Mutant Filter button. Press menu. Group header. Sort looking for more. Yeah, I don't have any like, games installed. Apps. Groups. One item. Full library. 582 items. Wow. Button, there's a lot of stuff five. on Game Pass and everything else. So, um. Apps. Let me 13, just pick apps a window, game group, really events, quick. Friends and community. Games. Five. Games window. Mortal Kombat 11. Optimized for Xbox Series. Rock Band 4. 4 of 5. Press menu button. MLB registered the show trademark 24 Xbox Series XS. Included with Game Pass. Forza Motorsport. Included with well, Game Pass. Forza will Optimized talk. for Xbox Series XS. MLB registered. Mortal Kombat 11. Optimized. Yeah, let's just do Mortal Kombat. All right. So, we're going to... Notification from here. Game Pass. Daily quest ready to turn and play Game Pass. Cool. Go to the guide to open. That's That's nice. Okay. So, Chris, as you know, if you are familiar with Mortal Kombat, this game does talk um, very rudimentarily. Well, let's see what this is. Smart is in progress. Chat GPT error response from image service. Bad request. Land. Oh. Land. Chat GPT error response. Chat GPT error. Land. 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 Window. It does not like it. 
Picture smart. Picture smart is in progress. I wonder why. Here we go. It's still thinking. I hope because it's Mortal Kombat, it's not going to get blocked. Link more results. The, the image features an advertisement for a video game titled Mortal Kombat. There is a central figure lightly a character from the game shown with a fiery effect around his hands, standing against a stylized dragon logo background. Text on the image includes 50% off on sale limited time only and a call to action button labeled by now. It suggests a new year for the franchise introduced by the character Liu Kang with a new fighting system and game modes. Link more results. Link more results. That's kind of cool. Conquer. All right, so let's get this means, or let's pick, um, fight. Here's Conquer. here's a scream we might want. So this is options. Occult, fiery, effect, occult, this this doesn't windows, talk windows, out of the gate. Picture smart. Picture smart is in progress. Picture smart is in progress. The image shows a settings menu from a video game interface with options. The image shows the image shows a settings menu from a video game interface with options categorized under gameplay, legal, tournament, link to mobile, email subscription, online, audio, and video. The visible settings under gameplay include options such as vibration, round time, rounds to win, and story difficulty. Some options are toggled on or off, and there are tabs for other settings at the top. The background is dark, and the design is sleek, likely from a fight interaction game. Link more results. Results. So it would be cool to actually know which ones are on and off. Um, we can't ask it questions currently. But, um, yeah, so it, it does read video game screens. Um, I don't want to spend too much time into this because, really, we're here to chat. So let me see if that's turned off. Nope. Close enabled. Turn off console. There we go. <coughs> All right. Back to you guys. Let me go back to NVDA. And I will read. Sorry, I've not been reading your chats for a few minutes. Hope I didn't miss too much. And just for the fun of it, we should rewrite the mobility movie from the Elwix Theater with the bunny making all the mistakes. Uh, contrary to what I believed as a kid, O&M is fun. Oh, it's amazingly fun. Am I off tomorrow for Easter? No, no, no. I got work. Sounds like a good description of the main screen. Mortal Kombat Talks 2. Yes, it does. What computer is that? Uh, I don't know what you mean. Can you ask follow-up questions? No, that would be really handy. Yeah. Now, fun thing, by the way, um, Be My Eyes, and I believe Be My AI, is coming to Windows in the summer. Um, just played the Daily Puzzle and Brilliance for today. Yeah, I remember having issues getting that to work, but I want to play it. I cannot wait. One more week of work to my week-long vacation. I have a short vacation coming up on the 11th and we'll be going to uh i'll be going to uh oklahoma for whatever reason good morning liam says megan schmidt good morning megan how are you um so yeah that was picture smart we got to play with it with a video game um I would definitely like to spend some more time using it on some other stuff. Um, so, and then we also made Eddie the Easter Bunny. Um, that's a bummer. Thought you'd be going somewhere cool, says Alyssa. Yeah, I know. That would be cool. Are you going to watch the eclipse? No. Um, I will be, well, the 8th. Let's see. That's a Monday, right? Uh, no, I will be working most likely. Um, I also don't care <laughs> to be honest with you. So yeah, my plan is cause yeah, oh no. Yeah. Monday I'll be a long, I'll be working three tens. Uh, that's going to be a long day. Oof. I'm hoping I'll be outside. It will be great to be in the dark in the middle of the day. I'm, it's always dark for me, so I don't see light. So it just doesn't do anything for me, but it's cool for those that like it. But yeah, I don't. Doesn't really. 
I don't know. I don't see what I get you, LOL, says Jane. Yeah, I just don't really get it. I mean, I, I get what it is, but I'm just like, meh. So let's see. Should we make another Suno song? These are always fun. Um, create. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get out of this one. Make one about Peter Cottontail. No, never mind. So not family friendly. I mean, I mean, <laughs> uh, never mind. Uh, Alyssa, you can fill in the rest. Probably don't fill in the rest on stream. Uh, let's see here. Steve, the robot guide. I still love that one. All right. Here's the Easter jig. Oh, it's still loading. There's Eddie the Easter Bunny. Why do they make it a pop song? When's the next Stardew stream, says Lexi. I have no idea. Um, I would have done one today, but I really have a lot to do. Um, how about a, a song about Jan the dog chasing East Eddie the Easter Bunny? Uh you should make a song about a murdering robot guide cat. Um, looking forward to using the Eclipse Soundscapes app for real-time audio descriptions. It's synced up with real-time, but I only got partial description last time. I just don't understand. It's like, it is dark. It is not dark. I don't get the Eclipse. Um, so, I don't know. But again, why would I understand that stuff, you know? So I'm I'm happy for people that enjoy it. I just don't get it. All right, here we go. It's Easter time. Let's raise our glasses high. We're gonna have a blast. Don't ask us why. We'll dance all night. The party's getting hot, but beware, my friends. It's gonna get a little snot. Ew, let's get drunk and puke on the Easter bunny. He's gonna be covered in colors that ain't. <laughs> oh my god uh, it's not what i wanted but that's amazing huh you can see okay yeah, it's really unfortunate. I'm going to be inside. Words fail to describe this song. I said, write a jig about getting drunk on Easter and puking all over the Easter bunny. All right, Alyssa, I'm working on yours. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 
So yes, I don't know about the next um, Stardew stream. So I would like to have done one today. I need to go do groceries. Like I'm out of everything in my house. I don't have like any food right now. So I have to like order groceries. Um, I was supposed to go out to lunch, but I'm like really not feeling that because I've got O&M and some other stuff. So um, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I also need to do homework and I need to set up a printer and get ready for tomorrow. So because I've got a long work day ahead of me tomorrow. Um, I've got a few students and I've got some other things I've got to take care of. What classes am I taking? I'm finishing up my assistive technology instructor certification, and then I'll be going for the CADIS, which is the certified assistive technology instructor through ACV REP. So it's like the equivalent of like comms for O&Ms. Um, oh, yeah. We're not going to talk about Alyssa's vacuum playing the State Farm jingle. Yes, I was. Let's uh, let's find this. There it is. So this is a sampling of some of the sound effects my shark robot vacuum makes. The first sound will be kind of a minor key as it's going to its dock. After it gets to the dock and has decided it is complete it will make the sound we've all been waiting for which sounds like the state farm jingle so i'm gonna push the button for go to dock it is driving it's so close it found the dock so here in a second we will hear the sound State Farm is there. And there you have it, my State Farm vacuum. <laughs> Jane says it sounds sad going to its dock. Oh my gosh. Do, 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 do. Now tell me that is not the State Farm jingle. All right. Here is Jan's and Eddie Jan and Eddie's adventure. Jan look out so playful and sweet. Running around with quick little feet Eddie the bunny hopping along Spreading joy and cheer all day long Jen and Eddie, best of friends Hey, wait a second. No! Jan chased Eddie round and round Through fields of flowers on the ground But Eddie was quick, go out of sight Jumping and dodging with all his might So that that was kind of disappointing. Okay, I love this except the bunny is still alive. That's what I'm saying.
If you want to update MAME, I'd also suggest Blush MAME, which is a front end that supports the latest versions and gives mostly. Huh. Interesting, because I always wanted to use the regular front end. I'll have to take a look at it. Uh, hey, Colby. Hey, my friend. Hey, cool. It should it just should complete the jingle. It feels half done. Yes, it does. And that's how we did free marketing for Shark and State Farm, says Alyssa. That was a flop. I'm terrible. I know that's what I was hoping for. Maybe I gotta write my own lyrics. Um Custom mode. All right, here we go. Custom. Oh, I have to please uh, confirm you will only use your own lyrics. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to write lyrics and I can't because I'm giggling too hard. Remember Gotcha Pets from uh, Pop Tool Weekly? There's a browser version now. It's kind of addicting. Interesting. Um, hey, yeah. Uh, oh. My dog likes to chase bunnies that come in her backyard, but one of them bit her ear. Whoa, bunnies revenge. Yeah. Um, oh, interesting. Has an inaccessible over limit. Okay, I will check that out because I've, I've wanted to do more with MAME. So, uh, great toy robbery DLC idea. Eddie runs around collecting eggs and carrots, dodging Jan and buses. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta have to do this in my own time because like I have ideas but I need to sit down and, and write them. But uh I wanna see if it'll make me a fun bouncy song about uh, Jan eating Eddie the Easter Bunny. I always take revenge on eating bunnies when I eat a chocolate bunny because one of the the one that bit my finger when I was eight. Wow, Jane is uh, Jane is brutal. I love it though. I'm gonna play this uh, again. Uh, hold on. The State Farm Vacuum. So this is a sampling of some of the sound effects my shark robot vacuum oh, It's called Shark Farm. The first sound I just saw the title. Kind of a minor key as it's going to its dock. After it gets to the dock and has decided it is complete, 
it will make the sound we've all been waiting for, which sounds like the State Farm jingle. So I'm gonna push the button for go to dock. Please provide experience with your most... Ex it is driving. I don't know, I just updated my credit card. What, ex what, what do I have? It's so close, it found the dock. So here in a second, we will hear the sound. State Farm is there. And there you have it. My like State Farm a good vacuum. neighbor. State Farm is there. Uh, I don't know anything about running something from Steam Unlocked. I don't think that's, like, you don't unlock things on Steam. So, like, I don't really know what you're asking. But. Uh, so, yeah, the other things I wanted to talk about today were the Celeste glasses. Um, I had talked about them last week and had said, yeah, you know, I'm not I, I'm not sure how I feel about them. So I've opted to return them. I felt that the return time or the the time that we we're getting on answers is really long um, and I didn't find them helpful. So I'm in the process of trying to return them right now. That's um, what we're working on. I'm just waiting to hear back from the people that made them so they can send me a, a shipping label and I can get them back in the mail. Open Ira. However, Ira has a new feature, which I'd like to show you, uh, called access AI and access AI is interesting for a few reasons. Um, what makes this different from C like be my AI is, that uh, we can also get supplemental information on a Quick picture. So if this would, oh my, uh, everything here is going. Detail capture. Where? There we go. Okay, so we have quick capture and quick set. capture and send detailed capture. Detailed choose from gallery. Uh, choose from gallery. Home tab one of choose from. So we have three buttons to choose from. So this is already a step up from um, be my AI, as we have some choices. Why does Alyssa sound so different on that recorder than she does record uh, recording that she doesn't her liner? I don't know, Alyssa. Why do you sound different? Uh, no, the is called Steam Unlocked. What the heck is that? Why am I googling this? Uh. Mm, that sounds really suspicious, dude. Uh, huh. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't like that idea, but I mean, you got to do what you got to do. I would recommend just paying the 15 bucks for Stardew. Yeah. Steam Unlocked is a super messed up thing since it lets you crack paid games, which isn't supported by devs. Yeah, come on. I mean, let's support the devs. Oh, uh, the liner was done through WhatsApp and was edited. Yeah, because I didn't I run it through something. Um, it's coming through the right ear more than anything. Home tab one of four. Button. No, it sounds like it's not coming through the right ear. Yeah, save. I would agree, with Jane. Save your money and buy it. Obviously, will. Uh, I love that. It, I I don't know if you censored yourself or it censored yourself. Um, but yeah, please um, support the developers that make these games. Um, well, I mean, again, if you're using a Steam Unlocked game, it probably is going to bring up a virus scan. God only knows what those things do. I mean, I would honestly, like I said, especially Stardew, support the developer. Selected. Access um, AI. All right. So, access quick AI. Capture and send. So, we have Button. quick capture and send. So, I'm going to take a picture. Of uh, over here in my room. Boop. Quick capture and send. Access AI is writing actions available. All right. So it's writing a message. Now let's just see how for, watch how fast this is. Seven. Of course, now it's going to make me look silly. The image shows a bedroom with a large bed covered with a striped comforter. On the bed, there is a blue item that appears to be clothing. To the side of the bed, there is a nightstand with what looks like a printer on top of it. And a window with blinds is visible in it's the background. Not a Would you like printer. more details about anything specific in the room? That's uh, there's a laptop and there's a CPAP machine, but well, that was pretty fast. 
The image shows. Uh, so we can ask questions about specific things. End of detail. Choose from gallery. Type a message. Send message. Uh, and we can button. type our message. Send, message. send a message. Dim, back, well, we can go back. Detail capture. So let's button. try detailed capture. So detailed capture. Five, take picture. Button. Uh, Zero gives people. us a camera. Camera chooser. Back facing. Uh, so we have back facing, Switch. front Zero facing. Take, take, camera chooser. Cancel. Button. Cap take pic. Camera. Selfie. Zoom. Cam one face near. Camera top. mode. Take, camera mode. Photo. Outside left edge. Camera mode. Photo. Adjustable. Photo. Zero people. Photo. Oh, it Zero only people. lets us do that. Okay. So I'm going to take a selfie. One face near top edge. But first, let me take, take a selfie. Picture. Button. One face centered. Tilt right. Level. Okay. Take one face near left edge. Take so. picture. Take take pic. Image. Retake. Zero people. Use photo. Button. Use photo. Use photo. Then message. I can ask Choose a type question. Message. Text field. Is editing. Insertion point at start. Um, so I could say. Insertion. Delete. Describe the person in this photo, period. Don't describe the background, period. Send message button. Send message dimmed. Describe the person. Okay. So we're sending that. Uh, when you send things, oh, I'll get to that in a sec, Megan. The person in the photo is a male with a light complexion, sporting a full beard and mustache. He is wearing a white t-shirt and black over-ear headphones. His eyes are closed and he has a neutral expression on his face. Would you like to know more about his appearance? Type an S. Yes. Can I say yes? G. A U Y. T. Delete. T. T. Y, y. W. E. S. S. Send message button. Access AI is writing a response. Yes. Send message. Dimmed. Yeah, I don't know why the audio is off center. Sorry. Man appears to be middle-aged with short, dark hair, and his beard is peppered with gray. There are some visible stains on his t-shirt. He seems to be oh, the headphones he is wearing have a microphone attached, suggesting they could be used for communication or audio work. I if you need more specific details shirt. or have any other questions, feel free to ask. Yeah, so then put the mods in. I don't understand the question. You copy and paste the mods in. Please make a song about the Easter Bunny eating too much chocolate and exploding. Yeah, it is the iOS camera. Back button. Back. Access AI. Quick capture and send. Detail capture button. So we have the uh, quick capture. And Choose then from we gallery. have Choose from gallery. gallery. Button. Cancel. Cancel. So button. let's Select find albums. a button. picture. Two of two. Selected. Favorites. 11 photos. First day to Instagram. First Birthday day 2018. 2018. Photo. Date. November 25th, 2019. Time. 11.09 a.m. Oh, Liam posing these... for a photo in front of a yellow wall with black text. 0000. zero, zero, zero. Portland. First date. Albums. Back button. First date. Photo. 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 November 25th. We'll just pick this picture. Selected. I don't know what it is. Selected. One image. Send message. Button. Type a message. And Choose from type of send message. Just gonna send this picture. Actions available. Image. Oh, I got selfie by chain. You smoke shared a photo too. of a person holding open a box of assorted donuts. The person is smiling with their eyes closed and appears to be enjoying the moment. The box contains a variety of decorated donuts, including one with a design that resembles this world icing pattern. Would you like to know more about the donuts or the setting? So that's cool. So that must have been when we went to Voodoo Donuts. I'm glad I didn't describe the other donuts. Uh, <laughs> there's another donut in one of the boxes that is not uh, safe for work. Um, so uh, Megan says, how do you... Let me get that... Um, Question back. When you send things in the mail, how do you independently make the shipping label and put it on the package? So what I usually do is um, I'll print the label if I'm sent a label. Then I will go to the post office and just say, hey, I need to send a thing. Here is the label. Can you like get me an envelope, do all the stuff, um, and I'll just have them do it because they can do it better than I can, and it's just quicker. Um, I don't independently try to do stuff like that, although I'll, I'll print my own label. Um, or like if I have to, I'll go and now you can go to like all the UPS stores and stuff and kind of do all that self stuff. So they'll print a label for you and do all this stuff. Uh, let's see. So yeah, it can describe pictures. We can ask questions. Back, button. 
about the pictures. Uh, one really cool AI. thing you can do, which I'm going to Access AI. Heading. just Quick capture take insert. another picture here. Uh, let's take a picture over here. Quick capture and send button. Quick capture and access AI is right. Actions available. Image. Okay. So it available. is sending the picture. I find that this is pretty fast, by the way. Not the fastest. The image shows a desk with audio equipment on it. There is a microphone, a mixing console with various sliders and knobs, and another device that appears to be a stream deck with programmable buttons. Whoa. There are also some cables and possibly a computer keyboard visible. Would you like more details on any of these items? So what I can do is I can select the image shows a desk with the description and I have actions. Share. I can share. Copy. I can copy. Mark is helpful. I can mark as helpful. Mark is not helpful. Mark is not helpful. Verify with an IRA agent. Verify with an IRA agent. So let's say I take a picture of something and it says it's a yellow shirt. And I'm like, man, I don't know uh, if that's a yellow shirt. Uh, I can verify that with an agent. Does it cost to use this feature of IRA? Uh, as of right now, no. They're not charging for it which is really cool. Hopefully your post office is kind. Yeah, it depends on the post office. Um, I mean, ultimately, it's like they're going to get my business, so uh, it is in their best interest to be kind. Where I live, obviously, living in Littleton, there's a lot of blind people because of the Colorado Center, so I think people here are more used to blind people than in other places. Uh, I didn't know your setup was that detailed. Wow. Yeah, I, I love that it described the stream deck. Let me see if I can. Type one as insertion point delete. Tell me more about the stream deck. Sir, tell me more about the stream deck. Send message button access. All right. So we sent that off. The device you're referring to as a stream deck is a compact keypad with LCD buttons. These buttons are customizable and can be programmed to execute different functions, often used to control streaming software, switch scenes, launch media, adjust audio, and more. It's designed to make the management of live broadcasts or recordings more efficient by having key functions at the user's fingertips. The stream deck in the image is placed in front of the mixing console, indicating that it is part of an audiovisual setup, likely used for live streaming or video production. Would you like to know anything else about this setup? So what's cool is uh, that is actually completely accurate. There's 15 buttons here. These buttons can actually be can um, can be programmed to have icons on them. Um, so they'll it's got little screens and they've got icons, and I can switch around my scenes here. So when I go like, "Hey, here's my patrons," uh, I push a button over here and it goes over to the patron screen, and then I can push a button to go back to my camera. Uh, if I have a console, if I have the console up, I can push the middle one that goes over to the console. This one shows an audio game screen, this back to my camera. Uh, then I've got one down there, which will bring up a computer game. So if I have Stardew Valley, I can just hit the button and it'll go over to that scene. And it does it all in OBS and I don't have to worry about switching scenes in the software. I can just move my hand over to the side and hit the button I want. These can be programmed to play sounds. Um, and do all sorts of things. They can run apps. They can send tweets or posts, whatever you want to call them now. Uh, the problem is, is that the software is inherently inaccessible to set up. So I have to get assistance from somebody in order to bind keys to functions. Uh, can I ask it to describe button layouts? Yeah, it's done it. I... Uh, I don't really trust its button layouts very much. I mean, you could. I'm trying to think like what I could get a button layout of. Um, huh. It's a really good question. Uh, we could let me take a picture of the printer control panel. Hold on. Send message dimmed button. Return to Surrey back button back. Access AI heading. Access AI, quick capture and send button. Quick capture, access AI is right. Actions available, image. All right. Actions available, a black printer on a gray surface. 
<coughs> so it knows it's the printer. The image shows an office setting with a black multifunction printer on a dark wooden stand with shelves. There's a PlayStation console visible on the top shelf, to the left of the printer. The printer screen is on, indicating it's powered up. Would you like to know more details about any specific item? The image shows an yes, office type of message. Would. Insert. What is the button layout of the printer? Send message. Access AI is writing a response. What is the button layer of the printer? Send message. Dimmed. I hope I did that correctly. The button layout on the printer includes a numerical keypad on the right side for faxing or entering numbers, a navigation pad with directional arrows and an OK button in the center, and several function buttons around it. These function buttons likely include options for copying, scanning, settings, and back or cancel operations. There's also a start button for initiating tasks and a stop button to cancel or end them. Would you like more specific information on any of these buttons? <sighs> yeah. The button. I would. Type a message. Delete. Can you tell me the exact layout of the buttons? Send message button. Access AI is the button layout on. All right, so here Send we go. message dimmed button. I'm sorry for any confusion, but due to the angle and resolution of the photo, oh! I cannot provide an exact label for each button on the printer. The image does not clearly show the text or symbols on the buttons. If you need detailed information well, about the buttons, well, that's cool. So it does tell us. Um, no, not everyone has Access AI yet. It's a beta feature. Um, what kind of headset do you have? So I'm not actually using a headset. I am using a microphone that um, has. Um, it's on a stand and it's on a shock mount. So like I can tap the desk and you're not hearing. You're not getting all the vibrations from the stand. So it was a little, it was a little inaccurate. But still accurate enough to give you a good idea of like what the things are. Uh, can you ask it for tips on how to place the camera better? Um, uh, maybe. Um, let me take, hmm. So, I mean, where I picture smart bite might be a good thing for that. And then you can also use Jaws's face and focus. And then um, let me show you really quick. Hold on. Uh, let me switch over to Jaws and show you. So I did not realize and Alyssa told me that you can actually go into. Oh, this won't work because we're streaming right now. Confound it. OK, so never mind. Because watch, I'm going to do face and focus. Face and view. Or face and view. Opening face and view. No, it won't do it. Watch. Face and view. Using HD Pro Webcam C920. Dialog. Unable to initialize camera zero. HD Pro Webcam C920. Please select a different one. Okay. Button. Yeah. So it's being used right now by OBS. Live streaming YouTube Studio. So unfortunately, I can't Live streaming YouTube do Studio that. But if you're using that to set up your space, really great for um, getting an idea of where you're located. And then you can use Picture Smart to describe. I think it describes around the face. But you can get an idea of like what else is in your environment. Um, I don't know what accidentally happened with it, Alyssa. I'm a little afraid. Did you do something with my microphone while I was out? Have I ever heard of a game called Time Crest? I have. It's not a bad game. Yeah, I feel like you could ask Send it. Message dimmed button. Um, the button layout on the back button. Back. Let me take a quick picture capture and send button. Of myself. Hold on. Quick capture. Access AI is right. Actions available. Image. So we're gonna Actions available. Have a photo a take of a, a person picture wearing headphones and a blue frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. In the image, there is a person with their eyes closed, wearing a light-colored T-shirt and black headphones. The individual appears to be indoors with a bed and a wall-mounted mirror visible in the background. Would you mirror? like more details about type of message? Where's a mirror? Do I have a mirror in my room? Delete. Frail screen input. Orientation lock. Portrait. Where is the person located in the frame, period? Send message. Button. Where is the person located in the frame? All right, Access so let's AI is right. See here. No, we're near. This is kind of cool, actually. I, I, I didn't know. The person is centered in the frame, occupying the majority of the space. Their head is near the top of the image, and their torso extends down to the bottom edge. Would you like more information hey, about the Hey, that's really cool. 
All right, so you could use that to do this, actually. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, when I burped in the microphone and then giggled like crazy? Okay. I thought maybe you got up to some mischief with my microphone while I was gone, and I'd, I'd like to know about it. I mean, obviously, you know, <laughs> not on stream. But uh, I also love when you say did a thing. That is my favorite description, like, to be inaccurate as possible. I did a thing. Huh. So this blush mame. That is really fascinating. So it will work with the front end oh man that my um creativity may have just plummeted because there's so many arcade games i want to play can you add images to the ai chat like you can and be my eye yeah what, i mean what do you mean liam that's just wrong yeah that that, that is kind of wrong Um, I mean, I can add, so I can do something like... Send message, dim, back, button. I don't think I can add multiple images. Oh, I think I know what you mean. Like, can I... The person is centered in the... Where is the person look in the image? Actions, call an IRM agent. Chat, heading, back, button, chat, call an actions available, image. In the... Where is the, the person? End of message, detail, cap, choose from gallery, button. So I have detailed capture. I wonder if I can... I know what you mean. Can I add another message? Detail capture button. End of detail. Choose type of message. Choose for detail capture. Take picture button. Let me see. Take picture button. Camera chooser. Back facing. Take picture button. I don't know if they'll headphones and sitting in. Use photo button. Use photo. Type of message. Send message button. Select end of messages. Have space. Oh, I'm. Send message button. Access. But I know what you mean. I do like that you can have it compare images. Uh, no, I'm playing with Ira Access, Cassie. You shared an image of a person who was taking a selfie. The individual is wearing black over-ear headphones and a light-colored T-shirt. They appear to be indoors, and the angle of the photo is such that the ceiling and part of the room are visible in the background. Would you like more information? You've shared an image of a person. Type a mess. Delete. How is this picture different from the first picture? Let's see. I, I don't know if it's going to remember, message, but, but let's see. That would be cool. That's a really great the feature. The image you provided appears to be the same as the one previously described. Oh. It features the same individual wearing a light-colored T-shirt and black headphones. The person's eyes are closed, and they are indoors with a similar background, including a bed and a wall-mounted mirror. If there is another image you are referring to that has not been uploaded, please provide it so I can assist you further. Oh, wow. Okay. So you can do that. You just need to be a little more specific about what you want yeah so you got to be a little more specific about what you want to know um but that's really fascinating so uh, this is predicated more on asking questions uh which is good But what I'd like to see is, can I, like, so what I'd really love is to be able to do, like, a speech recognition thing. And I, I know I can go type in the chat and stuff. But, like, I see all these people trying to do all this stuff with these glasses. And I feel like this app or some app could do this just on an app basis. Hmm. Because that was my thing about the Celeste glasses. I love the concept, but I don't like that it takes so long to process. And when it does things like text it's doing everything via the cloud so like seeing ai is really cool because you can just move around and with their short scan it's doing all the the scanning on the device where i feel like that's how a lot of things like these glasses should work um but yeah if you didn't know i um i'm setting my glasses back because it is a good chunk of money and i'm not using them Uh, so yeah, I'd love some, um, uh, Envision glasses. They're just pricey. They're a lot of money. Please. I want Envision glasses. 
So I guess I'll be checking out this main thing later. Thanks, Acer. There goes my uh <laughs> can anything done. Play main praise replaces the internal main UI with a more conventional point and click. Oh yes. Oh. Oh my gosh. I want it. I want it. Oh, that's cool. They haven't released an update in a while. That's okay, though. Um, I'm interested in what guitar it's emulating. Um, I wonder if they've tried to emulate more of those old toys, because those are fun. Time to start a donation pool to get Liam and Vision glasses. Uh, no, I mean, it's not like I really need them that bad. Um, the thing that I'm hoping my O&M got is I asked if she could get a demo of the Stellar Trek. I call it the Star Trek. And I am really interested in playing around with building one of these image describers on one of our GPU machines at work. Blows my mind that you can do lots of this open source if you have a good enough GPU. Can you imagine, Word Nerd, when we get to the point where we, where we actually have on device capabilities to do this because that's where I think it, it needs to go. That's the big leap, right? Is we're doing all this via the cloud or we're doing this on a GPU like thing. What's it going to be like when we can actually just do this on our own device and get answers back in a few seconds and it can crunch the data uh, that will revolutionize how all of these apps work along with the glasses and everything. Hi, testing this. And how are things? Hey, Angela. Absolutely. We need this on the device because that's what's holding us back. Can you imagine just like looking in a direction with a pair of glasses and just going boop and then like getting a, a good result back within a couple seconds and actually being able to use that to um, make decisions? Oh, I feel like I'm drifting left here i don't know what's going on i like everything in my ears is getting all weird it's not my ears it's the mixer come on mixer what are you doing i need to get some uh stuff to clean these uh pots with these switches are dirty there we go uh, i can try and make a recording of the uh toy guitar emulation I wonder what will be added into the new WeWalk. Yeah, so WeWalk's getting an update, which is a big deal because they were like re redoing stuff. Um, I'm hoping we can get based on video too, even if it's like one frame per second or slower. Yeah, video would be cool. Um, I would still like still images. Um, oh my gosh. The latest version of MAME can emulate the Noise Toys Jaminator printed on under Worlds of Wonder. Oh my gosh. So yeah, the Stellar Trek is what I'm really interested in. It's a GPS device, kind of like the Trekker Breeze, but it's got a camera and has some other features like a compass and things that I could really use because I'd really like a compass. I find that it helps keep me on track. I veer really badly. Again, deaf blind, so that's a struggle. Um, I'm really excited to mess with some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, just imagine like, hey, describe what's in front of me. And within like three seconds, you're getting something back. Whereas like the Celeste glasses right now, though I think there's a lot of potential, it's like 12 seconds and if not more. And the problem is, is that like, I don't feel like the camera's very good. I don't feel like it's, it working, it works well in low light. I feel like it blurs really easy. So I feel like what would be better would be to have a wearable device, like even being able to wear my phone, which has a really good camera because that's what it's designed for. 
being able to use my phone hands-free and get questions and answers and doing it in a way that's fast. Because, ha, huh, if we could get like the seeing AI stuff or like really the big thing is the large language model stuff with um, IRA Access or Be My Eye, whatever you want to use, and getting that down to like where you're actually like, describe this room to me. This room has dot, 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 where like there's no latency. Like we can do this stuff. That's what I want. If you like rock music that, oh my gosh. You don't ask for much, do you? I don't feel like I'm asking for much though, Alyssa. I feel like it's reasonable. Um, I think we're a few years out. Like I think that could be three to five years. But, you know, Apple's making its first um, model, and I'm really curious to see what it does. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see, does it run on device? What does it run on? How can it be leveraged? Uh, there's a lot of questions there and a lot of potential for really cool stuff. And I think about it in terms of not just descriptions, but also for mobility. Hey, can you see the crosswalk? Hey, where am I? Am I facing into the street? Where does it look like I'm facing? Hey, what do you see in front of me as far as buildings? I want to, uh, I guess one of the things that may emulates, by the way, is the talking, um, talking was a starting lineup, the Parker brothers. Uh, I could, I could have a lot of fun with this meme stuff. I'm definitely going to be interested. I have, let me see what version of meme I have. Um, does it say what I have? Uh, uh, I don't know actually. I have a bunch of ROMs and stuff. I don't know what meme I have. Dang it. Um, it's older. It's it's definitely older. I got it um, back in December. I'm trying to remember where I downloaded it from. Oh, I was at I was in Chicago and I used my family's internet to download ROMs because at the time when I was living in Missouri, we didn't have a lot of bandwidth. Now I have unlimited bandwidth. Uh, if you run MAME or MAME help. Yeah, so I have MAME UI. Um, but yeah, cause I, I used to be really big into MAME. Like I think MAME is one of the coolest things ever made. So for those that don't know, it's a multi arcade machine emulator, but now it emulates computers and old devices and a lot of really random stuff. It emulates to varying degrees of success and it's cool. If you like old hardware and you like seeing how it works and playing around with it, it's really a lot of fun. It emulates a lot of old computers, too. Really? Mamie Y is no longer maintained? I did not know that. I thought it was still maimed. Wow. Maintained. Hmm. Well, what's the latest? Let's see. Last main version. 264. No, Mame UI is still being updated. Yeah, there's a there's one for 264. I mean, it's still unless it's just being updated, but they're not. But I feel like if it's still being updated and it's got that stuff, it should still just work. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so Retro Arch is good. MAME goes really more, and MAME can be overwhelming, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of command line stuff, but MAME lets you do stuff like the Apple IIe stuff. So if you watched, I had those old videos from like ages ago of um, Throwback Thursdays where I played some of the old like Oregon Trail. That was all done in MAME um, using an Apple II emulator, and it can emulate the, the Echo 2, which is why we get speech. 
Uh, and that is one cool thing, by the way. You can also uh, emulate a lot of the peripherals. So I don't think the Commodore 64 had much, but I know there was a module for it that did some sort of speech. Yeah, I don't know about making them actually accessible, John, but like, it's cool that you can mess around and play with them. Oh, wow, I have a separate Apple. Yeah, this front end does everything. Um, it supports just tons of stuff. Again, it was originally designed to emulate arcade games. So if you want to play like the old Ninja Turtles game or like old stuff, um, you can do that. And they've made cheat files for these so that like you can like enable like invincibility and like an unlim unlimited lives and stuff. And so beat em ups are fun like that because literally you can beat a beat em up if you have unlimited lives. Um, there was a proper speech sense for the Commodore 64 that could read stuff, says Acer. Oh, well. I, I never got to see that. I played Capcom Bowling in MAME. Yeah, me too. You guys know my love for Capcom Bowling. If you don't, uh, I, that is my favorite arcade game ever. I have so many good memories of that game. I would love a Capcom bowling machine. I It would be pointless because they're so big and heavy and being old, they've got all, all these little electronics in them and like a uh, board and stuff, but I would love that machine. I almost got one like 15 years ago and I'm so glad I didn't because what the hell would I do with it? They're huge. But... Yeah, Capcom Bowling, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite things. Um, okay, so I just looked at the time, and though I'd love to stay, I need to go get ready for my O and M. Uh, they're supposed to be here around uh ten thirty, so it's currently nine twelve. Uh, you're well. You're about to have a game room, so that's where you put the machine. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Is is that what we're calling it? The game room? Um, no, I would love to get, honestly, one machine I would not mind getting. And it would be roomy, but I would not mind getting a skee-ball machine. There is a company in Wisconsin that makes them. And they are like $4,000 for like a full-fledged machine with the actual wooden balls, not the like the rubber rubber ones or whatever, you can get a full-fledged machine. That is a machine I would like to get. Um, excellent callback, says Alyssa. Um, yeah, I would love, oh, man, I would love a skee-ball machine. So I forget the, the the company, but they're I know they're out of Wisconsin, and they make the full nine-foot machines. Uh, I'd like that maybe a um air hockey machine but the cool thing about the um ski ball machine is i can play by myself so i don't need to play against somebody so like air hockey you've always got to have a second person ski ball you can play by yourself and i, I like that um arcade one up by the way makes a lot of really cool um they are three-fourth scale machines and they're licensed. So the thing about them is they're emulated. But the cool thing is they're a lot lighter. And they don't draw the same power that a, uh, a real arcade machine is going to draw. And you can turn them off. Uh, you'll need a whole game apartment if this, turn, if this keeps up. I mean, there's not much I want, Like, right? I want a skee-ball machine, an air hockey table... I guess a couple of the one-up machines would be cool, but they really don't have anything that I want. Like, there's a Mortal Kombat machine. That would be kind of cool, I guess. Um, yeah, I'd still recommend... Well, yeah, I mean, I like this because it swaps the front end, which is what I wanted. So the fact that someone's like, we're going to do our own front end that's going to let you set up inputs and all these things, and hopefully it'll do cheats. I, I don't imagine it wouldn't. Um, cause if it'll do that, I'm, I'm in love. Uh, that'll be a, for a house later down the line. Not much, just half a dozen machines. 
Oh, you know what? I do want a showdown table. Um, and obviously that I, I have to play with someone else, but I want a showdown table that would be epic. So, okay, showdown table, um, ski ball machine, and I guess maybe air hockey table. I could swap the showdown for, I could swap air hockey for showdown. I'm okay with that. If I have those two tables, I'm content. So that's, those are my machines. If I could get my hands on a Capcom bowling machine, that'd be cool. But I'll take those two. I'll take a skee ball machine and a showdown table. Um, would I want a full steering wheel stuff for Forza? No, I can't play Forza very well. I can't hear it. And that's the thing is like a lot of the games that I used to enjoy. I uh, hope oh, Man does cheats and stuff. Uh, I really want to text my uh, O&M and be like, I'm sorry, I don't feel good today. <laughs> I'm going to have to stay inside. <laughs> but before I go, can I play Shark Farm one more time? Sure. So this is a sampling of some of the sound effects my shark robot vacuum makes. The first sound will be kind of a minor key as it's going to its dock. By After the way, can you totally to tell that like she's my girlfriend? We are like so alike when it comes to stuff complete. like this. It will make the sound we've all been waiting for, which sounds like the State Farm jingle. So I'm going to push the button for go to dock. That's how you know we're a great couple, because this is the stuff we do. It is driving... so close it found the dock so here in a second we will hear the sound ibnbw now so many goodies wrap candy today only and there you have Online it only my state farm off everything plus two dollars and 95 cents while flowers and hand soaps until 2 p.m sorry i was i was getting stuff from uh, bath and body works also sorry that that was on the right side i'll play it again sorry i won't i won't let the phone talk over it so this is oh, why is it going to the left side? Of some of the sound effects my shark robot vacuum makes. I need new cables. The first sound will be kind of a minor key. So I became blind as too famous to shark farm. After it gets to the dock and has decided it is complete, it will make the sound we've all been waiting for, which sounds like the State Farm jingle. So I'm going to push the button for go to dock. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever, Alyssa. I love you. When I'm there, I'll record this in binaural. It is driving. It's so close. It found the dock. So here in a second, we will hear the sound. State Farm is there. Tell me it's and there not. There you have it. My State Farm vacuum. Tell me it is not. Dun, 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 dun. State Farm is there. Hey, Ben, how have you been? We didn't, I played Brilliance last week. I was having a little issue with it, but um, I played it and it was really cool. I, it was just hard to describe the issues I was having because it was, just, I think it was like some focus stuff or stuff not reading or whatever. But is this vacuum fully accessible, says John? Um, More or less. I would say it needs um, the app. I haven't gotten to play with yet. I know the app is not the greatest. Alyssa said that it could definitely be better. But yeah, that, tell me that's it. Totally is. Dun 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 dun. I wonder if you can get. I wonder if someone has ripped the shark sounds. Hold on, let me see. I'm really curious because let me see. So wait, somebody did shark vacuum cleaners sound six hours ASMR sleep. What? Oh no, that's I don't want that one. That's fixing uh
That is not relaxing. How is that relaxing? That's not going to put me to sleep. Uh, oh, man, you did? I can take another look. Yeah, let me... Um, the app has some issues. Sometimes you have to use screen recognition. Thinking of technology from when we were young to into the future, it's mind-boggling how far we have come and where it's going. I agree. I agree with that. It's amazing where we have we've come. Oh, that's an ad? Oh. No, that's a what is that? One of the shark fa I wonder if anyone's ever ripped the ROM out of that and pulled the sounds. Usually on the computer, brilliant sometimes uh, requires object navigation. Megan says, no, that's totally State Farm. Yeah, it's uh, Alyssa says it is not a device slash app. I would recommend for someone who isn't super comfortable with iOS voiceover or iOS voiceover. I don't know how it works on Android. I'll bring my phone. Uh, when I come visit, I'll bring the Pixel with me and we can try it. Because I'm really curious what it's like on Android. Uh, 921. I want to stay here, you guys. I'm, I'm like, I probably can only stay for another 20 minutes because I got to go take a shower. I got to take garbage out. And then be ready to do some walking, because it's not just the O and M; it's the O and M and an intern or two. I don't know how many interns are coming, but I'm like kind of nervous because I'm like, oh, don't screw up, don't do something wrong, don't step into the street and get squished by a car. That's gonna be so embarrassing. This is my student. He's so great. Splat. Like that. That's nerve wracking, man. Um, the device itself is accessible, though. It has a button for start slash stop cleaning and a button for return to dock. Yes. And this vacuum does not map, so it doesn't have the, um, the what is it, like the LiDAR, so it doesn't do the mapping of the rooms and stuff. Uh, it's a very no-frills vacuum. I, I, I bought it for Alyssa for Christmas because it was, like, on sale. Uh but I thought it would be a good vacuum for her because uh, her dog sheds and uh, it lets you keep the carpets clean and, you know, you can't go wrong. So that's why I got it for. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, Acer, and I don't know when I'll have a chance to check it out. So don't don't rush it too much because uh, today is going to be. Cause now I want to go play. I want to like, I'm like, I don't want to do my, my work and stuff. I, I want to do my homework. I don't want to buy groceries. I don't want to be a dull. I want to play video games. I don't want to do anything. I want to be a child. Not literally. Cause that'd be weird. But like, I just want to do all the things. Oh, man, I got to leave soon. Um, So there will be a chatting with viewers on the 7th. Uh, and then I will be on vacation from the 11th or something like that to like tax day. So there won't be a chatting with viewers on April 14th, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Um, but that's the way it goes. Adulting sucks sometimes, says Alyssa. Oh, don't I know it? I don't want to be an adult. Also, I need to charge my phone, too, because in case I bring my phone out with me. So I've been using my phone as a compass, and I found that it's really helpful to know what direction I'm facing. What I need to find is something I can wear my phone in. So some people have suggested some, like, lanyards. The thing is you got to stick something to the back of the phone I'm trying to find something I can put my phone in, like a holder. I could even do like a bag or something, but I just want something I can put the phone in and hold it. I was going to get one of those like chest rigs for um, like, like with the, you know, for the camera. They're a little cumbersome though. And you've got to like, 
wire them up to yourself. I wanted to say something else, but it wasn't going to sound appropriate. So. Nice, Megan. That's really cool. I I wish I liked The Last of Us Part 2. It makes me sad. And I don't, I don't even want to play it. He's not even going on a cool vacation. He's going to Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. I wish I was going somewhere cool. Oh, well. That's okay. We... We do what we must because we can. Uh, well, it's 925. I need to get out of here. Before I go, we got to play a song uh, one more time. Oh, we got to. We, I know we got to play. We got to play uh, our Eddie song uh, for Easter. We have a uh, song here. Let's go find it. Liberty. Eddie the Easter Bunny, oh so bright and cheery, hopped along the streets, spreading joy to everyone dearly. But one fateful day, as he hopped with such glee, huh. a big old bus came along. You won't believe what he did see. Oh no, and he got run over by a bus He was just spreading Easter love to all of us Oh, I like the other one Was it? Eddie the Easter Bunny, oh so bright and cheery There it goes Hopped along the street, spreading joy to everyone dearly But one fateful day As he hopped with such glee A big old bus came along You won't believe what he did see <laughs> in the springtime breeze Little kids all giggling Chasing after him with ease But that bus driver Didn't see any in his way Now the Easter Bunny's gone But his spirit's here to stay uh, So um Yeah I could use the slinger So my problem with the slinger is the problem that I have With all of the other things Where it's like you need to stick a thing onto your phone Um I'd like to not affect the phone case or anything like that. And some people have been like, well, get a different case and then take your phone in and out of the case. Now, my phone stays in a case. It goes in the case. It stays there. Um, I don't want to stick something on my case because also then, two, I don't know how that affects the MagSafe. Um, but, uh, yeah, shirt breast pocket. So that could work if I had a breast pocket. I don't have shirts that have those, but that is true. That'd be a really good, um, that'd be interesting for sure. I wonder how that would work. Um, I might try the camera rig. I, if I could find one that's really easy to put on, that would be really cool. Um, Definitely something that I might think about, something that I could like wear. So, um, I had an old harness, but you literally had to like put it around like over your shoulders. Then there was another thing that like went around, and you had to like hook it on. And it like taking it on and off was not fun, and it didn't make me want to wear it that much. But as a navigational aid, I think the phone could be invaluable, especially like for the compass. Um, cause that's my struggle is that I veer all over the place because hearing is hard. Hmm. But yeah, that's the brain. Yeah, I would mess with wireless charging. Yeah. And that's my issue with a lot of these devices. Uh, I don't know. Something to think about. Well, Unfortunately, it is 9.30. I need to go grab a quick shower and get ready for mobility. Um, since I use the Apple Watch, I have the compass right on the watch face. Yeah, someone told me that there's a compass on here. 
Open compass. I know I said open open compass not um So my problem with this is it's not auto speaking the degrees. Did I just make a Jan sound? I think I might have. I want something that I can. Yeah. So Megan, I would think if you're going to want to do that, you're going to want like a camera harness. You have to add as a complication to the watch face. Okay. Yeah, see, I need something that's going to call it out as I'm walking. So that's why I want to see when we get the Star Trek. Because I feel like that's going to work. Although I, I haven't gotten to try their compass feature on that. I'm also interested in the pedestrian thing where it'll scan the lines for you. Uh, Siri on the watch sucks, yeah. All right, I really got to go, guys. I'm so sorry. I want to stay... Um, I will see you all next week. As always, thanks for watching and or listening. Could not do this without you guys. Um, so sorry that I have to bounce, but you know, and it's Easter too, right? That's the worst. Um, I hope you all have an awesome Easter. Uh, if you celebrate, even if you don't celebrate, have an awesome Easter anyways, you know, just have, have fun. Enjoy your Sunday. Uh, I will be back next week. I'm hoping there will be more uh, Stardew over the weekend. There could potentially be something maybe on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday afternoon, if I feel like I can stream it and I've got the energy. I have a long work week ahead of me, uh, a lot of traveling. I'll be doing a lot of equipment setups. So uh, equipment for a bunch of people just came in. So we'll be doing a lot of setups on those. And those are always kind of taxing and, and difficult. So um, I don't know. We'll see. But as always, I thank you guys for being here. I could not do this without you. I will see you all later. As always, thanks for watching and or listening. Good night and good corn and happy Easter. Unless you're Eddie. <laughs>